Hello there, and welcome back. Today I want to show you how I create ambient soundscape with the OP-1. I really, really love using this instrument to create ambient pieces. I find it very soothing and easy to use. Um, of course, using uh, a nice set of effects is extremely important. So today we're going to use the shallow water uh, from Fairfield Circuitry, the Mood from Chase Bliss, uh, the Microcosm from Hologram Electronic, and Death by Audio Rooms. So I feel that this is my favorite setup right now to create uh, this kind of music. So let's take step by step so I show you the full process. For the sake of the vi this video, I, I will not try to create a masterpiece, but just a couple of bars and show my techniques. So first thing first, I set, uh, I select the kind of sound I'm gonna use and pretty simple, I choose a felt piano, a high-pitched uh, vibraphone, and another muffled vibraphone. So, we go back to the tape recorder, we set the in point. I usually use four bar, four to six to eight bar, depends on how much I want the uh, progression to be complicated. Uh, but for this video, we're just gonna do two bars. So, set the in point, one, two, out point. Now we will have two bars. I check that the metronome is on. I usually start with a 80 BPM, uh, uh, but that's definitely up to you. So let's choose the sound. All right, and let's record. To record, I just hold the rec button, and as soon as I press any key, uh, the, the record will start. All right, let's go. Pretty simple. That's okay. Let's add something on top of this. So let's choose another sound. Let's choose another track. And let's play on top to see. I'm completely improvising, so I don't really know. What am I gonna do? Let's add some. So the technique we are gonna use is recording a full speed and then half the speed. So basically I'm trying to keep the pitch uh, a full uh, 12 semitone above what I wanna do, a full octave. So I wanna use this high pitched guy here. Let's see. Okay, so we have this very basic and simple sequence, but the magic happens when uh, you slow down the um, play. So holding shift, I mean, you can just turn this knob here, but if you hold shift, it goes 50% of the speed, mean an octave lower. And let's see what happened now. So as you can hear, you got already in this very mellow, ambient kind of vibe. Uh, of course, you can build a longer sequences, 
uh, add some uh, chords, some other sounds, some noise, like whatever you had, it's gonna, you know, create a more interesting uh, track. So at this point, I start, I usually start to play with the effect that I have. So first, let's play with the shallow water. Shallow water, it's basically a, a instant, uh, melancholic, lo-fi uh, box. It, it had modulation, it makes you feel that your sequences is going through a, a warbly uh, tape cassette or whatever. So we already have this um, pitch down version, uh, slowed down, that already gives some kind of vibe. But when we add this, some more magic will happen. Let's hear it. You can decide the rate and the depth of the modulation, dampen it a little, and there's a low pass to cut the high frequency. And you can decide the mix. As you can hear, you get this warbly tone that had a lot of character. Okay, I like that. Another step that I want to use is create a kind of drone that will be uh, behind our sequence. And for that, the mood is an amazing, amazing tool. So basically a mood, it has two effects, let's say. This part, it's the part that had the uh, reverb, delay, or slip, that is a kind of glidey uh, delay. And this other part is a um, sort of a recorder, sampler, and then you can decide like the, the part of the things you record, like um, a sort of granular uh, sampling. Uh, and with this, the clock, you can actually decide the bit rate of it. So it creates very interesting, uh, from noise to drony kind of stuff. And I really, really love it. So I'm going to play with So how it's going to work? When it's red, it's listening to the audio that is coming in. And when you press it, it will play back what it recorded. So let's go. So, as you can hear now, we are just listening to what it recorded, right? If you change the clock, you start hearing all the beautiful, noisy artifacts that this thing can produce. Since my composition was basically in A minor, with not a lot of change of chords, basically, I'm pretty safe in using just this sound. When you add this other channel, with the, right now I'm using the reverb, listen what happens. You can decide to apply the reverb or the delay or whatever this channel to both the in, meaning this guy, the in and this channel, but for this case we were gonna use it only on the on what this channel is doing. So you can hear let's record something else. noisy one so I mix 
part of it and part of that, something like that. So as you can hear, we have a drone bass that will make things more interesting. Let's turn on the Fairfield. I decided to put the Fairfield after this because I want the full sound to be affected by it. Beautiful. Okay. So now it's the time to turn on the hologram. I really love the hologram for uh, ambient uh, production. So this pedal do a lot, 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 lot of stuff. So right now it has a lot of uh, algorithm. I'm gonna use Mosaic, uh, the third of Mosaic, that it will add a, a high, I think a higher pitched uh, octave and a lower one. So let's hear it. can filter it and you can decide with activity and repeat to make it uh, different, you can do different variation and sequences. So let's just find what you like. This is already very interesting. It's very sensitive to volume. so. I usually try not to go too hot in it, otherwise it's gonna distort. So let's find a nice balance. Just to let you know, here each, each algorithm does something different. Oh, this maybe is nicer, it's more subtle, it's a lower octave. All right. Now for the last, but not least, one of the most important part to me is adding the reverb. And I find that I have many reverb and to me the easiest and most straightforward one is rooms and it always get in amazing ambient territories. So let's turn it on. Right now it's the dry, you can push it a little, it get a nice distortion and like if, if you want to play with it so I, I love the fact that you can balance easily the dry and the affected sound. Let's turn on the effects. <laughs> I love how it instantly it make it amazing. I'm using the first Algorithm, room, room. We can listen just to the effects. I mostly use a room and the peak. I love peak because it basically has a filter and you can decide which kind of frequency. Can hear better. And basically almost it. One, usually I get to this point where I have a, a nice soundscape uh, and then I start playing on top. I 
just record a long, long loop, and then I build on top other stuff. Lately, I like to create this kind of uh, um, ambient washes, and then add some glitchy uh, drum on top, and go more on a sort of slow techno-ish ambient kind of production. Another good thing that I like to do is uh, send all of this audio through my tape machine, that could be my Revox uh, A77 or my cassette, the Porta Studio. In that case you will get even more nice saturation and that beautiful noise. But as you can hear, there's some noise quality that has been added by the mood. Also, it's fun to use uh, the clock to change the pitch. I would love to change the only things I... I um, sometimes it's a problem with the hologram is that if you change the algorithm uh, the effects will stop so or maybe I'm using wrong I'm not sure about that but uh, so once you choose one you need to really stay in the algorithm you choose but as you can hear this guy really adds up a lot right now we are hearing the 100 percent wet signal and sometime I just use the 100% wet signal on the room it's beautiful when you do like this the interesting part is like you lose all the attack from what you play here so Right now you can hear the pluckiness of the vibraphone and the attack of the piano. So it's, it, it's interesting to fade in and fade out. And like right now you can be in a full ambient wash. That's about it, I think. Now I would record like 10 or 20 minutes of this long wash, making small variation, and then I can use it just as a simple ambient piece for relaxation, for meditation, whatever you want. Uh, or you can chop it up, create your pads, and have interesting, interesting sounds. So yeah, I really, really love OP1. I think it's unbeatable for doing this kind of stuff. Uh, it's definitely an instrument that is very polarizing. A lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it. Uh, but the trick, I think, is find the right use for you. For me, it's mostly used for ambient pieces. So I love it and I will always keep it. Same with this other guy. Really, really love them. Uh, they're in every video I do. So again, that's it. I hope this video was interesting to you and I hope to see you soon. Please subscribe. Your support is very important to me and yeah. Have a great, great, great day. See you next time. Ciao.